Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. Today's date is October 26, 2022. This is a morning Forex report. Bank of Canada announces a rate decision at 10 a.m. ET. Expectations 75.50 maybe. Uh, there is some uh, some talk of uh, perhaps a 50 basis point surprise. We'll see what happens there. We had earnings coming out from some, some of the top big uh, mega cap uh, in uh, Microsoft and Google yesterday, and they disappointed on the forward guidance. Uh, that has the stock market on the defensive in trading here today. We also have the dollar lower today uh, with uh, the uh, major uh, currencies uh, moving outside of uh, more recent uh, ranges. So let's get started by taking a look at the euro versus U.S. dollar. I'm going to look at the daily chart here to start off, and uh, I put the Fibonacci retracement from this high to this low. This was the last uh, major trend leg to the downside uh, from the August high down to the September low. And as you can see, we saw a pretty uh, rapid uh, rebound in the early October into early October. Then it moved back down below this uh, swing area, and then it moved back to the upside. This move back to the upside was able to get and close above the downward sloping trend line yesterday. Uh, also above this uh, swing low going back to July. Recall in July, the market fell below the parity level uh, for the uh, first time in a while. And uh, the market moved down to a level of 0 0.99515 uh, before rebounding back up toward the 0 0.3663 level uh, in the month of August and moved up back to the downside. Admittedly, the price moved above and below the 99.51 level uh, through here and here and then tried to base against the level through here before falling to the downside and moving to our new low. Uh, the move to the upside in early October extended above this level, but only for one single day before rotating back to the downside. Now we have a move back above the level for the first day yesterday, and now we're trying to move above it for the second day in trading here today. The high price today moved up to the 61.8% retracement of this move to the downside. Last move to the downside, the level comes in at 1.0047. Three, the high price uh, for the day came in at 1.00471, so right at that 61.8% retracement. Also, near the high prices, uh, going back to this area right through, through here, this high came in at 1.0050. So some resistance up here at the 4.7 level, uh, parity 4.7 level. We are currently trading right at the parity level uh, at the, as, uh, as, I, uh, as I speak, uh, above and below that level. Uh, support down at the 51 level and uh, resistance at the 47 level on the top side we have the 100-day uh, moving average to keep in mind we haven't traded above the 100-day moving average since we're going all the way back to this day right here this is the february 11th 2022 so it's been a long time since the price moved above the 100-day moving average are we going to go up and test that moving average we will see. Let's take a quick look at the four-hour chart here, and this is you can see the high price uh, from this day right here, which is the uh, September 20th high, and the price came right up to that level and rotated back to the downside, currently trading right around the parity level, which happened to be uh, this high right here, all, um, high at the uh, from November 4th. So key level right here, here for natural resistance level and also this swing high level. We'll see if the price can stay above and move back to the upside or rotate back to the downside with the um, uh, on the daily chart with the 99.51 level as the next uh, target level from the daily chart. Let's take a look at the uh, sterling versus U.S. dollar next. And this uh, currency pair will start off with the daily chart as, as well. And uh, going from our August high, just the same way we did to the September low. And we've retraced more than 61.8% of that move. Uh, but uh, we are running into top side resistance, um, or it's a head. I won't say we ran into it because the high price uh, today reached uh, 1.1619. And this uh, trend line comes in uh, about 40, 40 pips above that at 1.16608. Uh, we need to get above that level and then the 100-day moving average to increase the bullish bias off the daily chart. Let's take a look at the four-hour chart for this uh, currency pair. And what we saw in uh, trading... Um, uh, yesterday was that the uh, price moved up to this um, high price, uh, this uh, swing high, swing high area, uh, also defined by these high prices going back to uh, October earlier this month, October fourth and fifth. Uh, that level came in at one point one four nine five. Keep that level in mind. That's going to be a risk defining level as long as the price could stay above that level. It's more bullish if the price moves back below that level. Uh, that would be more bearish. Also, this swing area with the uh, swing uh, lows, swing low, swing. Um, low, swing high, swing high, swing high, so on and so forth. Uh, so 
Uh, we went, went up to that yet, uh, yesterday, came back down based in early trading here today, and then rotated back to the upside where we ran into this uh, swing area up to, on the top at 1.1598 to 1.1620. Keep that level in mind, the high price uh, today. Uh, stalled right against that area. The high price uh, reached 1.16191 and then rotated back to the downside, currently trading right around the 61.8% retracement. So seeing some downside downside off of this resistance here. You can see, the, see, see where the resistance came in and why. Uh, we had uh, swing uh, low right here, swing low right here, swing high right here, swing high right here. Trade above and below it here, but then tried to base it against it here and then fell below the level and use that level as resistance through here for rotating back to the downside. So not surprised that we're seeing some resistance right here against this uh, swing area resistance on the top side, 61.8% retracement. And then the 114.95 level on the downside are your support levels for the sterling versus U.S. dollar. Let's take a look at the dollar versus uh, yen. Uh, we actually saw some selling pressure just because we saw dollar selling here today and the uh, price uh as opposed to central bank uh, sent, uh, selling. So this uh, Fibonacci retracement uh, has a 61.8% retracement at 146.73, and that's where the market bottomed not once, not twice, but three separate separate hourly bars and rotated back to the upside. So needless to say, the 61.8% retracement is going to be a level that we're going to be watching as a support. If we move below that level, that's more bearish, but we are back, seeing the bounce back above that level. Um, the... Um, 50% midpoint of the range since this October low to the high. So it comes in at 147.72. And that's going to be a resistance target on the top side level that traders would want to see hold resistance if the price were to move up toward that level in uh, trading today. We want to see uh, something like um, we, we, we would want to see something like uh, this. Uh, rotate back to the downside if the if we are stepping to the downside what i like about this uh, chart is that um this is the intervention that we saw from the bank of japan and the rebound back to the upside stalled right against the 100 hour moving average uh that is this level right through here um and um, uh the uh, sellers leaned against that level and rotated to the downside i also like the fact that we had these failures below the 200 hour moving average once twice here and uh, then we reestablish support against the levels through here only to have the market break and move below that level yesterday. And that increased the bearish buy side to the downside for here for the dollar versus yen. So the sellers remained in control below the 100, below the 200 hour moving average. And now we're moving below the 50% retracement. So this 50% retracement is going to be a key, key level here uh, for resistance uh, going forward as long as the price can stay below that level uh, the uh, downward momentum in the dollar versus yen still is, still is in place finally let's take a look at the dollar versus Canada wire because we have an interest rate decision coming up in that um, in that uh, country I'm going to put, put, put it on the four-hour chart and here on the four-hour chart what do we notice here we notice uh, that we have a swing low right swing lows I should say right through here uh, near, near the uh, 135 level and in trading today we came down toward that 135 level and found support buyers not surprising ahead of the interest rate decision expectations of 50 to 75 basis points more toward the 75 basis point uh, but um, could get a surprise 50 50 basis point uh, hike instead uh, we are uh, coming up to retest the underside of this uh, broken trend line right through here uh, at the highs uh, in the current hour hourly bar so Finding some resistance uh, sellers against that. Also, we have the swing area through here. So uh, this this area is going to be our uh, bias defining finding level on the top side as long as the price can remain below it, the more bearish. And then if we move below this uh, level at 135, it would increase the bearish bias. On the top side, a move above this level would uh, next uh, target target the uh, the this uh, swing area through here. We have a number of different swing highs and lows going back in time uh, through through this uh, period. So that comes in between 136, 37, 136, 66. So there you have it, a look at some of the major currency pairs, including the Bank of the, uh, the Dollar versus Canada as we head into their interest rate decision at 10 a.m. And uh, seeing the dollar move lower, but we're see, seeing a little, little correction as well into the early New York session. We'll see if the dollar selling continues, continues or do we um, or do we get a rebound back to the upside um, after the uh, corrective move uh, to the downside seen over the last uh, few days of trading. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.